Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to your love read for the week of, this is going to run from the, uh, what do we have, the 8th, 9th through the 15th, okay? So, and then I'll start my bi-weeklies right up the, after that from the 16th forward. So let's dive in. I'm going to pick signs that I'm going to be doing weeklies for, and that's the ones I'm getting the most responses from, guys, I got to tell you. So if you definitely uh, want your sign to be highlighted, to get a weekly or a bonus read, definitely, uh, you know, hit the like and subscribe button that'll help all right but let's dive into you because this is getting juicy okay i gotta tell you i get a very strong energetic hunch that some of you are coming together with someone there's a sense of coming together and it's someone that you have a some sort of strong pull with all right there's a there's there's something coming together is what i'm getting so we're gonna take a look at how this plays out but i feel that that is what is coming through um, and it, it, the timing is right right now is what I get. The timing's right. So let's take a look uh, what is wants to come out for Aquarius for this particular week uh, and what is uh, Aquarius need to know most with you and another person, okay? So I do get Hierophant energy. Ooh, okay. And, you know, there is an opportunity. Yeah, uh, something that you've manifested, guys. There's something that you've manifested that's coming through. And it's, um, you, I, I feel that there is uh, just a, a beautiful, I mean, just a beautiful opportunity to really balance things out. So what I get for you right now is an opportunity to check in with what it is that your, that your, um, your values and your belief systems follow. You are perhaps getting advice from someone or perhaps you give advice to others and what I'm getting right here is an opportunity to really move things to a uh, a, a different level. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, oh, I've got the uh, Queen of Pentacles. Maybe that you're dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, or you could be taking on this energy, that Mother Earth type energy, and being careful where you place your coin and all of that good stuff. Making good investments and making good decisions. Uh, now, this is showing up in your love read, so this is what I'm getting. Um, but the hair font energy that is coming through here is an opportunity to get peace, greater peace within your life. And the Hierophant energy is Taurus energy. You might have Taurus within your chart or uh, perhaps someone around you or you're just taking on this energy. You could be getting advice from someone that gives you keys to get peace within your life, okay? And and, and that's what I'm getting. It, there's an opportunity to do that. But it takes a, a moment to kind of go within. And, and that's what I feel that you're doing. Um, it's to gain a lot more confidence and especially to overcome life's obstacles, you know, and this again could be you uh, as that particular person that helps others out in terms of doing that. Whatever it is, you're getting clear about what you do and what's crossing you is a manifestation. I get an ace of pentacles. It is about going through a different door. Um, this is a door that's either going to level you up. Uh, because you've outgrown something and it's about moving forward. So once expression of emotions, something blooms. There could be a coming together between you and another person. There is an opportunity here. I get earth energy, uh, you know, and it, 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 to me, I'm also getting a little bit of water. Uh, but there's an opportunity that the universe is, is lining up. And this is what I feel, guys, is this some something of coming together. And I don't feel that it's just in love. I feel it's also in your work as well. So this is a very pivotal week, okay? And I'm not saying that just to say it. I'm saying it because I'm really feeling it here, especially within your read. So there is, the universe is aligning something for you and it's at the right time. And it has to do with also expressing emotions, right? It brings you uh, to an opportunity. I think it's love that births something new, all right? And like I said, there is there's something of coming together and this coming together is about... How do I want to say this? Um, whether it is long term or whether it's fast and furious, take it for what it is. All right. Don't put expectations onto it because there's a soul union and a release from this that is going to shift your soul in some sort of way. It's for your soul's growth, believe it or not. Now, it's, you know, always be safe in terms of what you do and decisions that you make and you have your own power and free will to make the decisions uh, for yourself. But I do, I did want to bring that up because it's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite strong is what I'm getting. All right. So I am going to take a look at anything else. Um, so this is what's coming through right now. What else do I want to pull? I think I want to pull a little bit more on this opportunity, this Ace of Pentacles coming through for you. Let's take a look, Aquarius. What do we get? 
look at this guys, the 10 of cups. <laughs> okay. All right. So I told you it's something that's unusual and it's not like you get this every day, right? You know, it's uh, something that is like two people coming together and really meeting. And it, it is, it's something it's, it's bigger than you both. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. Um, don't try to force it. What it, what it should, what it, what it's, uh, what you think it might be. Um, just know that this has worth to you and know that this experience is going to be serving your growth. Now it could be again, long-term or fast or furious. It, it's, it's going to come through, but it is a 10 card and it's coming to fruition, which puts an ending to something with a brand new beginning. All right. So uh, you guys, I, I, I was feeling this for you and I, I still do. Now, now I, I do get, let me just take a look at anything else that's going to help you with this. I get a map card for you. What's going to help you with this, Aqua? Because I got to tell you, you're in for something good. All right. I'm just, I'm telling you it, it and, and it's, uh, it's just coming through. Yeah, there is. And I think that, you know, okay. Cause nothing very much gets past you. And, you know, but, you know, a lot of us need sometimes we need an objective point of view to look at things and to kind of, you know, get alternative uh, uh, viewpoints and uh, to see what resonates with us and our soul. But you know what's so interesting? The card that I get here is a wizard of awareness. I feel that you know this, right? And there is something that is is coming through here. It's a three card. Third house has to do with your thinking, uh, your communications. Uh, there is uh, interactions with others. It has to do with your mindset. So there's some sort of communication, like you're aware of this. There could be uh, a date or a situation that's set up. I don't know, but there's a wizard of awareness of something. Um, it's quite hypnotic, you know, as well as what I get too. But there's an awareness that you know something and you can't put words to it on what it will mean. It's just a feeling that you know, and it's about following that. So you have a wizard of awareness of what this really is, you know, in terms of the situation and it being a three card, that's, that's quite interesting. Okay. So let's take a look even further on what it is that you need to focus in on. Okay. So what is it that you need to focus in on? There's a, a birthing and a transition of something. Okay. Yeah, it, it's an opportunity. Look at this. It's a six of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then I get for intimacy, compassion. It's, it's almost like you're going to calmer waters. It's like you're moving on. There is an opportunity of a creation of something, uh, a, a birth of something. And it's, it's something that is overflowing of emotions. And it's kind of like you're letting go of the past rough waters and you're moving and rowing in the direction that goes with the flow and goes with ease, right? And you could, again, could be done with an air sign or a water sign. Uh, anything more on what Aquarius needs to uh, focus in on that wants to come through for this week? Oh my gosh, devil energy, guys, devil energy. And this is letting go of anything that has once held you back in terms of your relationships, whether it's expectations, whether it is uh, you know emotions, whether it is some sort of behavior or uh, reliance on a person, place, and thing for your existence, all right? I think that you have developed that autonomy for that interdependence, and you have let this go. And I'm going to pull a shadow card on this because I want to see what might come up for you, and then you can do a double check-in with yourself. Um, but I'm curious in terms of what this is. And I thought I had this out, but maybe I didn't. Um, let's just take a look. Wow, I thought I pulled it out. This has got to be it. Well, I'm going to pull this up. Apparently, it wants me to focus in on this, so I'm going to do that. All right, so let me just focus in on this. Um, this is a past uh, information that is important, uh, and, and it, this could also give you an idea. Now, in the past, you may have been frightened. Now, this could be in terms of love. This could be in terms of whatever this is, or in intimacy or connection. But now, you are emotionally more stronger and you are more brave. And I think that you are able to make better decisions than you did previously. So I think that you have done the work, a lot of the shadow work and taken the time to do this. So it, it was, for some of you, it could have stemmed from, it's a 15 card reducing to a six and six is birthing something new. I think it's about leaving this behind and rowing on to calmer waters and not being afraid to experience intimacy. Now, some of you, uh, this, this is what I'm getting, okay? So there's a, a two sixes that tells me it's kind of like birthing something new. 
Uh, let's take a look at what the surrender cards want to tell you uh, in terms of what it is that you need to focus in on. Well, this came out. What did we get? Surrender your belief in scarcity. Wow. Be open to the infinite abundance, guys, is what this card talks about. And I think that for some of you, it might have to do with money and value, you know, and it could indicate that uh, you're removing blocks from your life. And what's happening is now you are able to succeed beyond your wildest dreams. And this is why I feel it's not only love that you're going to experience success in, it's going to be work too, okay? And perhaps there's love at work, okay? You know, you know what that is for you and your story, but this is what I get. The beliefs of scarcity have gone by. They're, they've actually are gone, okay? Um, that's my sport little drink. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. Um, sorry, guys, I have to move some things. I want to pull one more card in terms of your uh, wellness. What do we get? The future you now. Like, this is focusing on building the future you now. Like, you're there. You're there, Aqua. You're there. It's like you are positioning and posturing yourself in the love that you want and the love that you want to attract. So, therefore, you have to exude that, right? You have to be it and in order to attract it, right? So you have to believe it for yourself as well. So it is about, you know, doing some shadow work. And I think a lot of you have really done that. And I'm so proud of you. So really pat yourself on the back, you know, for that, because this is really, really key. All right. Uh, so this is what is coming through for you. Let's take a look at in the recent past, um, what we got is the 10 of Pentacles. And this could have been uh, in terms of building wealth, security, and that type of thing. This might have to do with family, okay? Um, something that's coming to fruition, all right? So it, whatever it is, it's the 10 of Pentacles. It's about probably knowing that you are, you are this, and this is what you can, this is about your launching pad in terms of this read. This is what you're launching from, and then it moves you into all of the rest of the things. And this is about knowing your wealth and knowing that you deserve it and building long-term generational wealth, all right? And what do I get? This is saying, Leo energy, you've got the strength to do it, right? So having the strength to do it, and this is the balancing of the dark and light side, okay? So it is uh, attaining the beast within, but knowing that there are changes that need to be made, and, and it's all personal improvement, right? None of us are, it's a constant thing, it's never done, and it's always worth it, <laughs> you know? It really is, especially when you get these little gems, and you're thinking, oh, man, uh, you know, it, it's just beautiful. So your work does not go unnoticed. It affects your, it affects your life, it, you know, professional, personal, love, whatever. So it does. In your strength position, what we get is the Queen of Cups being very calm, intuitive, and very compassionate. Uh, knowing that your cup is special and she is uh, really just really flowing with ease. It just is the energy is just a, a, a nurture, a calming energy. And then I get the King of Rods, uh, which is Aries Leo Sagittarius. So there could be someone that is watching you and this could be an, a, a fire sign. All right. You could be taking on this energy and someone could be, you know, watching you. Okay. So this could be the case. And um, this is a visionary and entrepreneur. Um, they might even look like this, but they've got a lot of passion for you, okay? And they're looking right at you, okay? Uh, give me a card on this King of Rods. Um, now, even if they might not be that sign, they could carry on that passion and energy. So keep that in mind, all right? Um, what else do I get? Yeah, there's some things that are hidden. They could have Pisces within their chart, but something's going to come to light, Right, something's coming to light here. Something about emotions coming to light. The path is going to be revealed. All right. And what else? Yeah, it's about making some sort of decision. So you're it's being at a crossroads. You are this other person at a crossroads making some sort of decision at this moment. Uh Gemini Libra Aquarius energy is what I get. Okay. Uh and what else? Oh my gosh, Knight of Rods, movement forward. This is about motioning forward. Um, here it comes. Here's this connection that's coming, guys, that I'm talking to you about. It could be someone that's motioning for with energy, passion, lust, and adventure. And it could be with someone who's very passionate, okay? Uh, any uh, any information would we get? Oh, my gosh. Look at so, Talk about satisfaction. This is the nine of cups. Not only did you get the ten coming right out, but you got the nine of cups. Can I tell you how good this is going to make you feel? I just, it's in your strength position, all right, about motioning forward with energy, passion, lust, and adventure. What is it that you need to keep in mind here, okay? I do want to pull a card in terms of what's going to be important for you to keep in mind. There's those shadow cards. All right, so here we go. What is it important that you keep in mind in your strength position for Aquarius this week? 
effort, making the effort. This is about having the confidence to make the effort. If you've been pulling back and being somewhat afraid, remember what it, your, your, what it is that uh, um, you need to focus in on. And remember that we got that you're now emotionally stronger and brave. To make decisions that are best for you to lead to the experiences. In the past, you were incredibly frightened, but I don't. you're not that anymore. It's about making the effort, and it's going to ground you in your private life. It's, uh, you know, this is a, this is a um, uh, solar plexus shocker, having the confidence to ground yourself and make the effort because you're stronger now. And what else? Yeah, it's going to have to do with your health, um, taking good care of your health, uh, you know, making a good change for your health. For some of you are changing new habits and things of the sort. So that could be coming through as well. And um, yeah, so this is going to make some very big changes within that. So this is what I see. And guys, I've got a, a health regimen that I have started that has now been so amazing. Uh, in fact, uh, I'll be noting that uh, within the bi-weeklies that you'll see up and coming, but I'll share it with you because it has really uh, got me into being so uh, much more perceptive and alert and uh, got rid of headaches and things. It's, it's just amazing. So I'll have to share it with you. But um, anyway, in terms of your health, some of you are making a change in terms of your health as well. Now, in the near future, we get the justice card and justice is coming through. It might be done with a Libra, but you're going to get justice. If you're dealing with a court case, this is saying that you're going to get justice and things will be coming into balance. All right. So for some of you that are experiencing that, this is 11th house energy. And that has to do with, you know, global awareness, right? It has to do with a lot more like uh, humanitarian ideals, uh, groups, clubs, and things like that. So that's what I'm getting. Let's take a look. Sorry, guys. You don't have a day where this doesn't go through. So let's take a look at uh, anything else. So uh, help is coming in. Something balanced will be served. Uh, and this is what I'm getting. It wouldn't show up in your near future. And in, in, in fairness overall, fairness will be uh, held tight here. And, and I also get self-love. Interesting. Oh, there could be balance in self-love for yourself as well. So it's like it wasn't until you applied self-love were you able to feel stronger and braver to move forward and take this opportunity or this somehow coming together with you and another person? Uh, it's a, it reduces to a seven and seven is house of partnerships. Uh, it could indicate marriage. It could indicate uh, opportunities uh, for one-on-one -on -one connections, uh, uh, you know, conflicts, uh, alliances of sorts. But this is communication, right? And I get sacral chakra, sacral chakra energy, but it starts with you. I always say love starts with you, and it is. So the leveling and the balancing in the situation started with you because you applied self-love. And if you haven't, in the near future, a lot of you will, and um, it, you're, you're taking that time out to make sure that that happens. Time out for source to get the confidence. So you're working with source, crown chakra energy, to get the confidence, solar plexus energy that leads, in, and a timeout's gonna be necessary. So your timeouts are really important here, okay? Uh, anything else that's coming out for Aquarius? What do we got? Uh, what do we got? Progress, yeah, you're making progress, guys. Making progress, you're planting the seeds to get what it is that you want to come through. So powerful guys and the sun's coming out and you know it, it just needs uh you need some some time to grow but the the roots need to build first before it grows so you're developing stronger roots in terms of your life and it's showing up in your love rate right so stronger roots uh for self-love equal greater love uh for yourself coming through now what it is that in terms of your suggested approach it wants you to persevere it wants you to persevere uh, it's a nine of wands. So I can tell you it's right coming to the end, guys. I tell you, it's coming right to the end. It's coming to fruition. So a fire energy. And what you need to know is that you've got the perception to make the best decisions for yourself in love. This is you carrying on that energy. What you need to know is you're an Aquarius. You've got that keen sense of perception. You're a quick thinker. And I feel that you're going to know because you're much more emotionally stronger and braver to be able to move forward and know what needs to be cut out and what doesn't. And at the same time, I know when to take some, some chances and risk and know when not to. Now, your hope is that you're going to, this is about developing some sort of strategy, okay? This is some sort of strategy, planning, and foresight, all right? So it's going to take that, right? And then it wants you to take action, all right? Moving forward, taking action, okay? This is what it's talking about. For some of you, it's going to be in love and what you want, uh, showing up in your love read. Uh, but like I said, your career, a lot of you have got new opportunities in your career that are hitting you at the same time, all right? But this is taking action and moving towards what it is that you want and balancing the, lark, the dark and the light side, knowing that the darkness lets you, allows you to see the light, right? 
and and it, it and that's what's so beautiful about it so there's a beautiful integration cancer energy it's a seventh card and sevens are about the house of partnerships so it's about taking action in a house of partnerships you're partnering with others a lot more there's a lot more teamwork and collabing that's happening and this is what i see you're not being a, a lone ranger here now the other person coming through uh if we take a look at that what cards do i want to use um let's take a look okay so geez guys what am I doing with these cards? Okay, I keep stacking them on top of them and hiding them. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Other person, other person. Uh, they, where is this thinking of? Okay, let's go there. Um, they, lots of options and choices and making the best decision in terms of that and getting the power, victory, and clarity. See, before they were lost in the illusion and now they're getting the clarity. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? So they were lost in fantasy and illusion and now they get the, the, the clarity that they need in terms of moving forward, okay? What they are need to focus on is a resurrection, all right? Resurrecting oneself, uh, you know, that's what the judgment card is coming out here is saying. It's, it's an opportunity to, uh, um, you know, really focus on valuables, resourcefulness, your attitudes, uh, attitudes towards material, uh, uh, you know, gain and things like that. And then it also wants to persevere, uh, seventh house, which is partnerships, resurrection and persevering. So there's someone over here. Um, again, I get a lot of fire and air and I get cup energy as well. Now in their strength position, um, they're very independent, right? They're very luxurious. They've got, they got something going on and they're very good looking as well. Male or female, it doesn't matter. I get the nine of pentacles. Uh, this is, they know their value. In the past, they've had some things that didn't work and were disappointed, and that could have been uh, with, an, uh, maybe they had a connection with an earth sign, um, and this is uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that didn't work, um, but they're using their intuition, and that's in their strength position in this moment, okay? And then uh, in terms of them moving forward in the near future, I get the lover's card. Here it is. Here it is, guys. Here's the, here's the connection. Uh, it could be done with the Gemini. Uh, it's six card birthing something new. So I get the lover's card. This is the, this is the coming through new inspiration and creation. So it's about them moving forward in a new inspiration and creation. Wow. And you're persevering and getting the balance that you need in this, in the situation as well. Uh, let's take a look at anything else uh, before we move forward. Okay. Uh, what do we get? Someone, um, someone wants to tell you a lot. Someone pretends like they don't care, but they have a lot to tell you. And I think they're gonna, you're going to get an opportunity for that to happen. I feel it's something's coming up here. I feel that maybe for some of you could have been connected with someone and had some sort of separation. And you want this person to be happy more than anything else. And there is a, an apology that might be coming through between you and another person. So we're going to take it to an extended and find out what they haven't told you, what they want most long term and uh, what it is is their next steps and a timing involved within that. What you hope the next steps would be, what you want most, what you haven't told them. Messages from both sides, a potential outcome with Oracle advice. So if you wanna join me, Aqua, go ahead, click the link in the description box below. And guys, I'm excited, I look forward to seeing you next time. All right, until then, namaste.